court has said that uh, it will retreat until 3 p.m. and make a final decision on uh, how best to deal with the contact on the part of the IG and the DCI. But uh, one thing that we continue insisting, we want Meguna to be brought before this court because uh, his uh, release alone will not be satisfactory. There has been uh, a clear and blatant breach in disobedience of the court order. Meguna has remained in comunicado for a period of uh, four days. The Constitution only allows the police to hold somebody for a maximum of 24 hours. So as we speak right now, whatever charges that they may be proffering against Meguna Meguna are unconstitutional and are unlawful. But let's wait until uh, 3 when the court will make a final determination on how to progress this matter. Uh, maybe, is it likely to be brought here today? It is our expectation that he will be brought here before 3. Uh, in the event that that do not happen, then we believe the court will make an appropriate order at three. But what is most satisfying and what Kenyans need to know is that we have established for a fact that he is alive. Their appearance here was necessary to show that we are all under the law once the court has uh, made an order. And therefore, I hope that the court will stand firm and insist that uh, th those orders should be complied with. The Inspector General himself should come and explain why he held an, a citizen, an innocent citizen, for more than 24 hours in communicado. And secondly, the order that Miguna should be produced here, that also has all been complied with. And this state of affairs is almost worse than what we experienced in the Moi years. And Dr. John Hamino is here, who was practicing at that time. Let us be transparent. Let us do things in a clear daylight so that the relatives, the lawyers, know the where the whereabouts of the suspects. Miguna was picked up. Lawyers have had to travel to Kibunguri. Lawyers have had to travel to other old police stations. I personally, with Mr. Harvey and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Osundwa, had to go to Larry to trace Mr. Miguna. Up to now, Mr. Miguna did not have access to lawyers at all. He did not have access to his parents at all. And this morning or this afternoon, I addressed the judge and told the judge that the only way of making sure that human rights, fundamental rights, are respected the way it is being done in England and European Union is for the courts to decline to hear the case that is brought before, uh, that is now pending before the Magistrates Court. That will make the police, that will make the authorities to begin to respect fundamental rights. And that will, will also protect our politicians when they are being suspected of having committed certain offenses.